Um, today I wanted to talk about, I'm going to be transparent with my struggles in relationships. And shoot, before I was, I've been, this is my third marriage, I was engaged five times. Um, so there was this thing inside that I always felt like I needed someone in my life uh, to, you know, the whole uh, Jerry Maguire thing that you complete me, thinking that somehow that woman is going to complete me, um, and yet she never did. You know, it wasn't until I came to the end of myself and I, you know, cried out to God for His help, and He helped me to see who I was for the first time. He helped me to realize that I was loved and accepted by Him that set me free from that bondage of always needing someone to, to complete, you know, and that's where my struggle was. Um, and it's the first time in my life with my wife today that I've, I've been in a place where I'm able to love unconditionally instead of conditionally. It was always about me at the core. Um, and I think a lot of times we come into relationships that way of needing that person to need us instead of just understanding the beauty of His love for us and our identity. We're, for, we're reconnected to that love source of God when we come to Him. And that sets us free rather than just being in that bondage of it's not really I love you, it's I need you to love me back. And that's where I was over and over again. I never, from the time I was 16 until I was 45, I was always in some kind of relationship or with a woman. And, you know, the mo a month maybe is as long as I went until I met my wife and I'd spent almost a year just seeking God and just being there for my kids but man what a different way of living when you're coming from that place of I want to be with my wife I want to be near her rather than needing her to be you know to love me uh, her loving me is a bonus in my life is the beauty um, so it's so different you know and then then in first Corinthians it talks about you know what love is you know love is patient love is kind love never takes record of wrongs that's what happens when you when you reconnect to the love source and you understand that God truly loves you that sets you free to be able to love someone for the first time unconditionally rather than conditionally it's a way different way of living now all of a sudden, you know, I'm able to, to look at my wife and just want to be near her and see the beauty and value that she has instead of always looking at it from the perspective of what's in it for me. Because that's, that's where I was before. I would do, but I was doing in order to receive back instead of being free to love her right where she is. You know, and that's, there's a, there's a Hebrew word called ahava, which means... I've seen you at your worst and I, I love you still, you know, and that's the beauty of that is that, you know, it's, it's not just the romantic and everything, but all of us have flaws and brokenness and yet I, I love her that way, the ahava love that even with the flaws and everything, you know, we all have flaws and, and I love her with my entire heart. I want the absolute best for her and, and that's, that's never been in my life. Only the last six and a half years I've experienced that freedom. I pray that you can experience God's love that changes us from the inside out and flips up our world upside down. And that's the beauty of His love.